guys, welcome to Off Top. We've been trying to tell you all along, this is not your mama's view. I'm Brooke Kankar, and joined by these lovely ladies talking about Coachella today. Hey guys, I'm Rebecca Prince. Hi, I'm Winter Mitchell. Brianna Collette. Nay. We have a very, very special episode, and it's all about Coachella. Yay! Everyone's favorite oh. camping slash not camping, get me a really nice house in Palm Springs. To start it off, top five essentials that you need to have at Coachella. Really bring some like green juice with you while you're there and drink it like once every few hours. It really keeps you hydrated and lubricated. Baby powder for the chafing <laughs> for the bigger girls. It's a lifesaver. Stop trying to wear some cute sandals with some stacked heel that's a platform. Knock it off. You know that you're going to be trumping around all day, whether it's windy or rainy. You have no idea the elements. Bring some combat boots or some Converse. Knock it off, trying to be fashionista. Okay, let's turn into a fashion segment. <laughs> Isn't Coachella a whole fashion thing? It like, that's is. It's yeah. the effortless chic look. Effortless chic. The VIP bracelet is a necessity. Don't <laughs> even go to Coachella if you don't have VIP. That's. I'm not it's, trying to be bougie about it, but, but general admission, I feel it's it's like District Nine. Okay. An emergency <laughs> contact card on your bracelet. Because <laughs> it is like, so many. Yeah, you seriously would like if I pass the fuck out. Sharing experience. I will be your buddy this year. Thank you. Buddy sister. Well, I will be your buddy this year if this is what we're working with. Well, I want a secondary backup. Yeah, I know. But this bitch will <laughs> be laid out. I already know it. And I want to know your best headlining band and your best underdog. Little Dragon. I'm really excited to see them. I think they're going to be great. Haim, Haim. Um, I want to. I want to see what these girls are all about. Are they? They're Los Angeles based, I think. Yes, Pasadena. So sisters. Shout out. Excited about flight facilities. They're really good. I think they're gonna be great. Obviously, everyone's really excited about Outcast. I've never been, and the only person I'm sad I'm missing is Disclosure. Outcast is cool, but I want to see Disclosure. They're my shit. Yeah. I um. I really want to see Pet Shop Boys, and I want to see Queens of Stone Age. Really bad, because Queens of Stone Age is always a great time. I'm not even like his biggest fan, but I know I've seen him at Lollapalooza a couple times, is Kid Cudi. And he mm. kills it live. Like his live show is so good. Are, okay. are the concerts though as important as the parties? Because I think the parties is kind of like everyone's yes. main the focus. The parties are where you show up, it's a really cute scene, it's to see and be seen. And the shows are what you really get nitty gritty in and you don't care what you look like personally. So. I'm always a favorite of the Neon Carnival. I even go just to go to the Neon Carnival sometimes. I don't know why, but every year it because seems to happen. Because it's one of the best parties at Coachella. Yeah. I mean, if you want to have a great Phil, time with your Phil. friends, dance your face off, hit some, you know, carnival games, some slides. There's a dance roller. floor. Yeah. I love like the black and carnival. white checkered dance floor. Bumper cars. Well, the H&M party is supposed to be um, off the chain. I think they rented yes. out a big private residence, mm -hmm. and it's oh, not as fun. Our department. Bootsy Bellows is supposed to be throwing a day party over there at some random mansion. Mm. So if you haven't had enough of the club rats in LA, you can get them in Coachella <laughs> uh, too. <laughs> it's in Palm Springs. Everyone from LA is going to be in Palm yes. Springs. It's going to be the same club rats. In the when VIP you, section. When you <laughs> stay in real. Los Angeles, when you if you choose not to go to Coachella, it's like a ghost go. town. Just get out of town. If you, because, because we all know you're not there. So, so our intervention is recovery mode. Yes. I'm all about a massage, body scrub, facial, at the spa. Korean spa. Minute. Go get a clonic. Get all that shit out of you once you're back. Literally. Literally. <laughs> um, I'm definitely going to have to say just like maintaining at home. You need a day off after you come home. Don't expect to leave Coachella on a Sunday and come home, you know, fresh as a daisy on a Monday trying to work. You need a day after to recoup, get some hydration, and you get some food in you, period. Yep. You need to lay down in a quiet space. And, a, and don't talk to anybody. With a B12 shot and an yes. IV. And uh, what is it? The oxygen IVs that they put uh, in you? And take off your stupid ass bracelet. Oh, please don't be that person. I am like, always that person now. Later. You're not 15 anymore. You're not 15. It's not like it's cool that you're collecting bracelets. Take that shit off. I'm too tired. Like, I get home and unpack and I just, I just collapse. And I... Whatever's in the fridge, fine, delivery, fine. I just, I, TV and a couch, and that's all I need. We are going to wrap up. Thanks for watching Off Top. Come back next week for all the recaps from Coachella and everything crazy that happened. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and all that social media stuff. Bye. Bye.